Hello everyone and welcome to Merlin's Manor. Today I'm going to be doing a solo playthrough and how to play the solo mode for Earth. So what you're going to do, you're going to start out by setting up your player board right here. The solo player board can be recognized by the fact that it not only has a banner here, but also a banner down here. What's the difference between these is that this is for playing on beginner or medium difficulty and down here are the actions you'll be doing for hard and expert difficulty. It changes up what get guy is going to get. And so uh, that's the difficult difference there. Uh, there's also going to be some difference between a beginner and expert mode found on a couple of the cards in the deck. I'll explain that more when that happens during the deck play. Today we're going to be playing on medium difficulty. So I'm going to be following these actions and I will not be applying either the beginner or expert stuff on Gaia's deck. You're going to set up your board also here with an island. You can uh, choose either side of your island. You can also uh, get to take a look at two of them and pick if you're uh, a little bit more ex expert on the game once you know what you're doing. Same with climate here. You are choosing one of the sides of the climate and you're going to you're going to have a, a ecosystem card as well. You get to choose between two different ones and which side you want to do. Over here, you're going to set up the fauna board. You're going to have uh, four different fauna, which is basically objectives that you're going to be racing Gaia to complete trying to get those done first. You'll get 15 points if you're first, 11 if you're second, and Gaia will be completing those through cards in the deck here, and I'll show you how that works when those cards come up. You also have a couple objectives over here that are they're the public objectives, but you're the only one actually scoring these ones. And so keep in mind on all these things, trying to make things happen to, a, to, to win those, because that's going to be the biggest way you're going to beat Gaia is by... Uh, focusing on those goals over there. And whenever you get a goal, you're going to place one of your things on there as you get it. You also have your leaves placed out here. Now over here, this is Gaia's board. It's got a place for you to put the sprout tokens as Gaia gets sprout tokens. You've got a place for growth. And I recommend once you fill up one of these that you just go ahead and put one of the toppers on there. And you're going to start here and work your way that way. You're just going to be sneaking around on that. Uh, each row is going to be worth 25 points. And then uh, wherever you get to on that row, you're going to do the white for any filled ones. And then you're going to add up individual ones um, when they're not quite filled up for one point each. I'll show you a little bit more how this board works as we get into the game. On your turn, which you're going to start with your turn, you're going to choose one of these actions here. And I'll go over those actions as we hit them during the game. And then on Gaia's turn, she's going to flip a card and you're going to do whatever's on there. Now, when you do your turn, you're going to go through this top part and activating the powers. And then, and you're also going to have something that Gaia is going to accomplish there. And when Gaia does stuff, you'll have stuff you're going to accomplish as well. Uh, this game's got a lot of ways that you score points. You're going to be scoring points for composted cards. You're going to be scoring points for victory points on your cards both here on your island as well as in your tableau. You're going to be scoring points for cubes that you have left on your cards. You're going to be scoring points for your growth icons as they are building up on your different cards, uh, your objectives, all kinds of ways you're going to score points. And I'll show all of that when we get to the final scoring. I'll show you how all that works. So our personal goal is to get cards with odd victory points. For every two of those that we get, we'll get four victory points. And we've already got two on our island here, one that's worth five and one that's worth three. You see here, those count for that. Okay, so the goals that we're going to be focusing on in the race against Gaia is going to be getting four plus flora, each with three plus of those tokens, growth tokens on it. And so basically, you're going to look for cards that need those growth tokens and getting three of them on each of those. Here we have 15 plus cards in the compost pile. Here we have four mushroom cards in our tableau. And here we have six plus red abilities, and that includes the rainbow abilities there. And so if we get there before Gaia is able to claim those through her, her deck of cards, then we will claim the 15. And otherwise, we'll get the 11 if we get there second. Of course, if we don't make it by the end of the game, we get zero for those. And we also have over here our public goals, which only we go after in the solo mode here. We wanted to get uh, columns with four cards all of the same type in it. So you want to focus on getting one type in a column. And you get six points every time you accomplish that. 
And here we get two points for every canopy we have, which is the toppers that go on top of the growth. So we're going to be going after those goals. Let's just go ahead and get on into the game. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get seven cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I am going to look at those, and four of them I'm going to compost. So I'm trying to find cards that I don't want. And I'm already not liking this one because it's got negative three victory points. And so, yeah, and it's also, yeah, I'm getting rid of that one. That's definitely one of the four I'm composting. Um, here we have another event card, and these are played any time. It's draw the top three cards of here, keep one, return the other two. Interesting. We got some of these cards here, and I gotta make sure that if I see something that go along with the goals over here, I already see a couple mushrooms. Uh, my goal is wanting odd numbered ones, so this is gonna be good in a couple ways. Definitely keeping that one. Uh, I might keep the other mushroom one as well. And I got a compost. I'm, you know, I'm not too big of a fan of the shooting star event here. I'm going to go ahead and compost that one. And I get two more into my compost. Some yellow abilities over here. They're both odd numbers, which helps with my goals. This one's going to give me some. Those, oh, this one. Oh, we won't be at. It's not going to help with much. Ooh, we don't have much that helps with growth, and I'm going for growth over here with some of this stuff. I don't have any red abilities except for this one. These are not the best for the goal cards we have at hand. We've got to go with what we got. I'm going to get rid of these two for now. Well, get rid of them. So I'm keeping the Japanese Andromeda, which has space for one growth. It it's going to give me one victory point. It costs zero soil. And I'm going to get two soil whenever yellow is played. I got the Roman Brown, which has a blue ability. It's two victory points because it's going to cost two soil. It has place for three sprouts. This one here has a lots of place for sprouts. It's a rainbow ability where I spend a soil to take three from my hand into the compost. That could be handy. I'm going to want to get a bunch of cards early on. So, what is the first action I'm going to do? Well, first I have to finish these. I've gotten the, drawn the cards. I have composted four, and now I'm going to get four soil. One, two, three, four soil. And let's go ahead and start out. Oftentimes I like to start out with green, but I think I might want to get more cards first. I don't know. Well, if I start out with green, I might want to get... This one out It's going to get me some soil. So yeah, I am going to start out with green. And I'm going to come right up into this top corner here. It's going to cost me zero soil. And then I'm going to play also this one here. And I'm trying to get a column with four cards of all the same type. So I'm going to try and get four mushroom cards into there. That one's going to cost me one soil to play. Very cheap starting out here. And they're both odd cards, which is going to work well with my Lonely Island. I've already got eight points from this Lonely Island. Uh, four from there and four from there. So that's pretty good. Next thing I do is I draw four cards. One, two, three, and four. I'm going to flip these over. And one thing you want to be mindful of is that Gaia is going to get all the cards you don't choose. You're going to get to choose one, and the other three are going to go to Gaia as point cards. And so you want to make sure that Gaia is not getting too many points. I always try and take some of the higher point cards unless I really want something to work with. I already put that in the wrong place. I meant to put that here. I forgot which one it was. Actually, let's go ahead and do that one like that. That's how I meant to put that. I'm trying to get the mushrooms all in the same row. Uh, this one is a mushroom. Card. That's something to think about. 
Oh, I'm still trying to look for things that get me some pretty good size flora here, but uh, this one does. Oh, and it goes well with this row. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and keep that one. And so guys are going to get three, four, five, six points from that. And now we're going to flip Gaia's card here. Oh, she did a plant as well. So what we're going to do is we are going to plant one and then draw one into our hand. If we are able to, which we are able to. I'm going to put that there. It's going to cost me three soil, all of my soil. Draw a card up. Oh, this is one I haven't encountered before. Swamp Sprouts. Uh, copy one blue island from your ability. Counts as all floor types when scoring. That can be handy. Uh, I can put that right on in here or here. And it will count. It does cost eight soil. It gives zero points, though. So it might not be one that I want to play. Then we draw the top three cards here. And those are going to go straight into there. Ooh, she's going to get eight points for this one and one point for that one. That's nine points. And the other one is a zero point. That was a lot of points right there. I could activate all greens, by the way, but I don't have any greens yet. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come over here and get cards because I really want more options. I'm going to get one, two, three, four cards. I get two growth tokens. So it's these things over here. And I'm just going to take... I'm going to take and put on here. Like that. When I get to three, I'll be able to top it off and get uh, be scoring four points if that's there at the end of the game. So here are my new cards. I got Tropical Forest, which has a green ability to add uh, those cubes. That's kind of nice. Now this one, all mushrooms cost two less soil to play. Uh, this one's going to have a red ability there, and we got a blue ability on that one. Against Gaia, I try not to play too many blue abilities because whenever she takes the blue action, she's going to get uh, cubes for your, your, all your blues. And if you take do the blue action as well, she's going to do that. So I try to be careful not to load up too much, especially since I don't do a lot of blue actions when playing against Gaia. But we will see how this all works out for us. I like this card right here because it gives me lots of room for growth. And it's also going to account uh, for that first row there. Okay, so we did the first part of the yellow. Then we're going to activate all yellow abilities. I have two soil for that one. Then we come down here. I can spend one of these to get a cube. I don't think I'm going to do that because I'm trying to raise to 15 plus cards here. Uh, before guy is able to do that so what i'm going to do instead is i'm going to jump straight to here and i'm going to spend one soil to take three cards from my hand i'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one it's expensive for very little payout one i'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one too and i'm going to get rid of the tropical forest mainly because it's wanting to score the same across rows, and my rows are kind of being mixed up. So because of trying to go for the other goal, that's the three I'm going to get rid of. And so let's see where I'm sitting right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm almost halfway to that goal. Let's see what guy is. Oh, and guy is going to score one growth for every card I took this turn. I took four cards. So she will get one growth for each one of those. One short of being able to just fill that first one up. Just like that. Now, if I can either get two soil or I can compost two cards. You know what? I'm going to do the two cards because I'm racing towards that, the straight from the deck. Then I activate any red or rainbow abilities. I'm at nine now here. Red or rainbow abilities. I can go ahead and do that or that. Uh, I don't want to do either of those in this moment because I don't want to get rid of three cards out of my hand. So for every soil I gained, which I didn't get any soil, she would have gained soil, but she also gets eight 
cards from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're on to my turn. And I think I really am going to get more cards again. I know this is not always the best. No, you know what? I'm going to come over here and get more soil. I'm going to come over there and get soil, actually. If I get five soil. One, two, three, four, five soil. Plus two cards from here. And then any red or rainbow abilities I can activate. And I'm not going to do that one yet. And this one here, I still don't want to do that one. Uh, if I chose the red action, I get to draw two cards for this ability. And over here, I get to put one cube. So just like that. Actually, I wonder if I would have wanted to do that other ability then. So you can activate either this or this first. Um, the three I don't mind getting rid of. You know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of three cards, actually. I'm going to go ahead and activate this now. Spend a soil. Take three cards from my hand. Just like that. Let's see where we're at. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. One short. And, and then she's going to get two cards. Plus one card for every two soil that I got. So she's going to get two more cards for that because I got five. And you round down. Okay. Blue, I get two cubes or two soil. Right now, I think I'm going to focus on that soil. Two soil. Activate any blue abilities. I think I will actually go ahead and activate this one, which takes one from here. And I'll get a cube instead. I uh, could spend cube to get that, but I don't have enough cards for that. Let's go ahead and see what she does. She's going to get seven cubes. And I don't, I don't generally just fill these up like that. I just kind of toss them on there. Uh, some people put one on there and just kind of move it. I just like to just toss them on there and count them up at the end. And then one cube for every blue power that I have. These rainbow ones count as a blue power. I have one, two, three blue powers. She will get three cubes, which is three victory points. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take this red action again because I need to get two more composted there as well as uh, getting a little bit more soil. So let's go ahead and get one, two, three, four, five. Soil is off to the side. You get two of these, which puts me up to 15. And then I can do any red or rainbow abilities. I don't want to do that just yet or that. So I'm going to skip those. I chose the red action. I get to draw two cards. I get to put a cube on. Let's do that. And now I can claim the 15 plus in my compost there. Let me just confirm that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Claimed. Still need to work on the other things here. So let's go ahead and. Give Gaia two cards, plus one for every soil I got, so another two cards for that. And then we flip. This is the first scoring card for Gaia. Choose either upper fauna objective and place one leaf token as Gaia. So the one I'm least likely to get is the one I'm going to go for. I'm going to guess this one here. Now, I've had, if we've been playing on beginner, we would skip Gaia's next turn. On expert, 
you'd get eight soil for the left one being claimed or two cards face up victory points uh, for the right being claimed. But we're not playing on either of those modes today. Let's go ahead and get back to my turn. And I'm going to go ahead and jump in and plant some stuff. Now is the time to get things going. I am going to plant this one here for five. One, two, three, four, five. It's going to it's going to score one victory point at the end of the game, and it also lines up with that lonely island there. And it's also lining up in this row for scoring for the Atlas Mountains. And it gives me an ability here. I can spend a soil and a sprout to get a growth and a card. So that's pretty cool. And then for the other one that I'm going to play, I'm going to go ahead and actually finish out this row here. One, two, three, four, five soil in the cost. I'll get four victory points, and I've opened up something that has a lot of space here for fauna. Which we want to get four plus flora, each with three plus of those on it. So we need to start filling those up. Then we're going to go ahead and take four of these, keep one, and give the other three score for Gaia. Okay, I'm going to want to cake the mushroom here. Uh, it's a two-point car, which is actually the highest in this deck. We got two twos, a one, and a zero. That's not bad. I gave three points over to Gaia, and I'm going to be getting this card, which is going to go well in this row, and work towards that wild boar. Now it's Gaia's turn. I'm going to score for the bottom objective. So which one we're going to have her score this one, since I've already scored there. She takes second place. And now it's back on to our turn. We're going to go ahead and get some cards. One, two, three, and four. Didn't get anything too terribly useful from the green card standpoint. Uh, three points per water. We don't have, or not water, whatever that icon is. We don't have a lot of, I don't think we have any of that icon right now. Oh, that's for those. Oh, these are the that icon. That's right. Um, so we could have a couple of those in play if I played that one and this one. But that's expensive to get out. And that one wants to score for sun in a contiguous line. And water pools. All water ones costing one less. So I don't know if we're going to play any of these. But we'll see. I got the four, and then I'm going to get two growth. Uh, one of them is going to cap off this one here. Let's just go ahead and grab and put that on there. And then the other one is we're going to go ahead and work towards this one here. And then she'll get one growth for every card that I got this turn. Oh, wait. First, I have to go through my yellow powers. I will get two soil. I could spend one of these for a cube. Why not? I can spend a soil to put three cards in there. Actually, sounds like a pretty good deal. I'm just going to go one, two, three. I don't think I like any of these right now. So let's go ahead and just do that. Come down here, I can spend a soil and a cube. I think I will. Soil and a cube. To get a growth and a card. We move on to Gaia's. I got four, five cards. She's going to get five growth. Just give her one more here, and then four more on there, just like that. Again, it's less fiddly to do it that way, so that's the way I'm going to do it. Now it's Gaia's turn. Gaia is doing the yellow ability. I can get cards or growth. 
And I'm trying to work towards getting these growth done. So I'm going to go ahead and do the growth. She also gains growth for cards that I draw. So that also is very helpful that I'm not drawing more cards. So I'm going to put one here and one there. Trying to work towards this goal as fastly as possible. I need to get three. I've got two already. I got this one. I just need two more. I need to get another card out that can support those. So I did the two there. I get to activate all my colors. I get two soil here. I come down to here and I can get rid of one of these for a sprout. I don't know that I want to get rid of three cards in the moment, and a soil for that matter. Yeah, I don't want to do that. So, skipping that option. I will do this option though, a soil and a cube to get a growth and a card. She's going to get seven. Plus one for that card I just drew. Eight. We're at three, four, five, six. Go ahead and cap all those off. And then two on the next row there. Then we're on to my turn. And I think it might be time to play. Oh, I don't have enough soil, so I need to get soil first. And then I'll be jumping in and trying to play some stuff. Let's come here and get soil. One, two, three, four, five. Get two of these. And then red abilities. I'm going to start here. I get to draw two cards because I chose the action. Coming over here, I get a cube. And then there, I can get rid of one of these to get a cube. Is there one for one points wise? But you can use those to um, get soil. If you spend three of them, you get two soil. And as you see, there's also abilities that utilize those. Am I ready to do that action again? No, I don't think I'm going to do that action. I'm going to come down here, spinning a soil and a cube. Get that and a card. Maybe I should have done that. Let me see how much soil. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven soil. No, I need the soil more than I need that in the moment. Okay, so I've done that for me. Oh, I also could get rid of one of these. For three cubes. I almost forgot my newest ability there. Okay, so she's going to get two cards, plus one card for every two soil that I got. I got one, two, three, four, five. Did I pick up any more along the way? No, I did not. So she's going to get two cards. And then we've reached the end of Gaia's deck last time she did something. So we're going to shuffle these up. And next thing, I'm immediately scoring something. So, choose either of the lower fauna objectives. Oh, I didn't qualify for that, did I? Oh, I already qualified for that one. Like, one, two, three, four, five, six. I actually should have claimed on turn earlier that right there. Didn't even realize I had qualified for it. And then Gaia is going to claim that one. If I can get a couple mushrooms down, I can go ahead and claim that one first still. Uh, can I afford the two mushroom cards I currently have in my hand? Three and one, I can. So I'm going to go ahead and rush. Oh, I still need one more mushroom, though. I'm going to go ahead and do green. I'm going to 
that there. Three. And I don't know, I may still want to, I'm going to do this first, actually. Since I still need a full turn, probably, to get the mushrooms out. I'm going to go to do this, this next. And it just needs to be, it can be diagonally adjacent or orthogonally adjacent. I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it right here. So that's going to get me, it's going to, oh, wait, not, that's going to cost seven. I can't do that one yet. Okay, back to my original drawing board plan here. That one costs one. Okay, then we're going to look at four cards. See a mushroom? I already want to keep the mushroom. These ones all go face up, and they're all zero point cards. Nice. Okay, we've got green. Which I like. I only have three soils. So what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to spend three of these to get two soil. What that's going to enable me to do is to play this one for four. And I get a card. And because I have four mushrooms, I can now claim this. The only one I haven't claimed yet is that. It's not a rush right now because she's already claimed the first time, but I'm going to start working towards having... I got one, two, three cards so far. If I just get this one built up, I will be ready for that. So green powers. I have no green powers to activate. And we're going to add three cards to hers. She will be scoring two points. Well, that's kind of been lucky all throughout the game so far, except for that one turn. Let's do yellow. I may regret this, but I'm going to do yellow. Where's there, or is red going to get me what I need as well? Red's not quite going to get me where I want on those. So I'm going to do a yellow. Probably my last yellow action of the game. I'll draw four cards. I'm going to get two growth, which I am going to place here. And then I have none on here that are yellow, but I get two soil for there. I could spend a growth to get three soil, but I don't think that's... No, actually, that's not bad. Spend a growth to get three soil. I mean, here I get to spend one of those to get a cube. You can spend a soil. Discard three cards. I'm going to do this one. I can. Uh, so that's what I just did. Now come here. Spend one and one. Get a growth here. And a card. Coming down here, I'm going to get a card and another growth. I'm going to put it right here. And now that's three on four different cards. So I get to claim that for 11 points. And now I need to work on trying to fill up some canopies and get some cards played out. It's pretty much my goal for the rest of the game. Uh, she's going to get one for each card I drew. I drew four, five, six cards. So she's going to get six. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. So it's three on there. And then another three. Okay, moving on. I can either get two cubes or two soil. I'm doing the soil thing. I can activate any blue or rainbow abilities. 
So I'm going to go ahead and do that to get a cube. For the versatility there. I will spend one soil. Get rid of one, two, three cards there. I spend a soil and a cube. Get a growth. And we put a growth on this one here. You also get a card. Oh, wait, I have a blue over here. Uh, I can get rid of a cube. I think I'll do that. So just card three cards from here. There isn't these expensive cards I don't really see working out for me. One, two, or that one, three. Yes, okay, so that was that ability there. Moving on, she's going to get seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus one for every blue power I have. One, two, three, four blue powers. Again, rainbows count as blue powers for that purpose. And now I'm going to come over here and start planting things. Like, well, can I afford to plant things? I'm quickly running out of time. I may need to do a red action first. I have one, two, three, four soil. I only got three of these. I can get two more soil, but that's not going to be enough. Yeah, let's go ahead and do red action. We get five soil. One, two, three, four, five. We get two cards face down. Then all of my red and rainbow abilities activate. Start one of those. For a cube. Uh, I gotta hold on to my soil. It's more important in this moment. Uh, I will get rid of a soil and a cube for that one though. It's gonna get me a topper. We're here. Do one that relates to the colors that are on there. And then I get a card. And come here, I get to spend two of these for four soil. Let me get things played. Get to spend one of these, get three of these. Okay, that's my red abilities. Oh, I also get to get two cards if I chose the red action, and I get to play one red cube there. Okay, she's going to get two plus one for every soil again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That doesn't seem right. I got five. That's four, I got nine. I must have spent. In this pile earlier. So that's still only, well, that's um, every two. That's still only going to be the same anyway. It's going to be four. Moving on. I'm going to claim that. And I got to go into the greens and hope I can get this all accomplished. I'm trying to go for some cheaper stuff. Is it yellow yet? It's not done yellow yet. I'm going to try and play this one. The three. Oh, wait, no, actually, before I play that one, I'm actually going to play this one here. For two, and then I would have gotten one dollar discount on that other card. Actually, I can't play that there. I'd have to play that here. That's okay. Boom, and then boom. Those are the two cards I'm playing. One, two, three, four. 
So I'm just going to have a sun discount if I want to try and get it out there. I have not played as many cards as I usually do, but I think it's going to work out. So I'm going to let her have that one for sure. So I'm going to keep this one right here. Okay, going on. We got two more turns. I'm definitely not going to get the bonus for being the one to finish off the goal thingy there, but we'll see how things work out. Red. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight soil right now. Do I need more soil or do I need more? Just the two points. I'm going to take the soil because. Just in case. And then I get to activate all my red abilities. I'm going to start here. I get to grab two cards. I get a cube. I'm going to go ahead and play Hot Spring as one of the cards that just popped up. It's going to give me four cubes for three compost. That's a point better plus the versatility of cubes. One, two, and three. And events can be played any time. Now let's go ahead and activate my powers over here. One of those for a cube. And then one soil. Take three cards from my hand. Let's take some expensive cards. One. Two, three. Let's just get rid of those three extremely expensive cards. One of them is a zero point card, too. And then let's move on to here. I can spend a soil and a cube. Get canopy for here. And I get, spend two of these to get four soil. And spend one of these to get three cubes. Let's go put that one there. I'm filling them up. Doesn't matter where you put them, generally, unless there's a goal card that wants it or something. So we're going to get eight cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Plus one for each so one soil for each soil that I gained. I gained two for there. Four for there. I gained six. Two, three, four, five, six. So six soil come here. If Gaia ever has 10 soil on here. Those 10 will get turned in for five compost, which is basically five points. Okay, let's do green again. And what do I want to try and get in here? Something's going to get me the points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do that one. And let's do, that's going to cost me seven. We got one, two, three, four, five left over here. Oh, that's going to cost me six because it's the sunshine. Spend all, we're going to spend five. One, two, three, four, five. Down to one soil. I still have a full row I haven't even touched here. This is definitely different than what I normally do. Let's see if it works out for me. So she's going to go into the last here. I get to put two growth out. I'm trying to fill up canopies is my main goal in this moment. Let's go one, I like to color coordinate with the powers. One, two, and then we to activate all yellow powers. I'm going to get two soil. 
Um, I could spend a chunk for three soil, but that doesn't make sense. I'll get two of these things. Go ahead and just do this one right here. I think. Yeah, let's do that one. That works. Spend the soil to take three cards and put them here. Spend two soil to get four growth. So what I'm going to do here is just one, two, three, and a cap. I run out, ran out of yellow coordinating ones in my box. Tell you what, do that. Okay, coming down here. I don't have a soil to spend. I could get rid of those, but I don't think it's worth it. I'm going to skip that power. And then this one, I get a card. And one of these, I don't think I have... Oh, I have one more place that one can go by itself. So let's go ahead and do that right there. That was all my abilities. And then we get seven plus each card I drew, which I drew one card. I'm just going to get eight. One, two, three, so one, four, five, six, seven, and then one goes there. So that, and then that whole row is going to get filled up. Just like that. And that is the end of the game because she has gotten to the end. She will get the seven points for completing first. But I, I'm feeling pretty good going to the final scoring here. Even though I did very little on my tableau this time around, I got a lot of bonus points, and that's what's going to really make the difference here. Let's go ahead and start out scoring these things. I'm going to count up uh, for each of those. We got one, two, three, four, plus nine for this row is make it 13, 14, uh, 19. 20, 21, 22, 23, 26, 31, plus these is going to be 36, 37, 38, 39. And then for events, I only have zero po one card in there. It's a zero point. And some of them are worth negative points, and some are worth positive points. A one times for every one of these. So let's go ahead and do that. Twenty-four, there, and then one for every cube. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then one for all the different growth and how these growth count. Is if there were any that were incomplete, you count one per, and for all the complete ones, you're going to do the white number there. Actually, don't have any incomplete ones. Some of them are still only worth one, uh, one for one. So we've got three, four, five, plus four is nine, ten, plus seven is seventeen, plus five is twenty-two, plus seven makes it twenty-nine, plus four is going to be thirty-three. Now, we score for any of these. I don't have any of those that give points. The only one I had in play was this one. It was just a, uh, uh, making things cheaper. So zero for that category. And then my personal card here, four points for every two cards with an odd number. And I was paying pretty close attention to fulfilling this one. So let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So 9 divided by 2 is going to be 4. You round down. Uh, oh, I forgot these ones, though, I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 11 divided by 2, it's going to be 5 points there. Or no, not 5 points, but 5 times 4 points. That's 20 points. And this little symbol here lets you know that you're including your island and your climate. Then we come over here to these ones. Uh, six points per column with four types, all the same. 
And we got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that's going to be 12 points there. And then this one here is two per canopy, which is this top part. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. I really focused on that, making sure I could fill those up for two reasons. One, I was going for this here in the early game. And then that just is good points there, both for on the board and for over there. And then the fauna cards, I will score 15, 15, 15 is 45, plus 11 is 56. And I'll add that up in a moment. Let's go ahead and look at what Gaia has done. She's got, for these, we've got 25, 25, and 1. So you're looking at 51. I'm just going to write these on here in any order. We got this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 there. And we got these here. 34 points there. These cards all score for the victory points that are on here. So we got 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 points. That's the lowest I think I've ever seen that happen. She got really unlucky with the cards she was getting. And then we're going to come up here and count up all these points. We got, uh, let's do the 11s first. 11, 22, 33, plus 7. Makes that 40. Makes it 55. Very competitive there with me. Mainly because of that 7 there at the end. She does not score for the ecosystems. We've done everything that Gaia gets points for. She does not do as well as normal. I'm going to add these all up and get back to you in just a second. Okay, the final score is 213 to 185. I beat Gaia by 28 points on medium difficulty. Had we done things on more difficulty, she'd be getting more stuff, of course, along the way, making it more difficult to win. I highly recommend starting on beginner just because you do get that free extra turn. You're not as rushed. You can get a couple more actions in in the game from those extra turns. I hope you've enjoyed this playthrough. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Uh, if you noticed that I did anything wrong, uh, make mention of that. Maybe I forgot to do something along the way. Sometimes I get a little uh, focus on what I'm talking about and commentating. And uh, let me know, and I'll leave those in the description if I made any errors along the way. As always, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll catch you in the next video.